The hidden world of dissociation, more common than you think. Today, we dive into a topic that's misunderstood yet far more common than we might believe, dissociative disorders. These disorders aren't the rare phenomena we often perceive them to be. Recent research, analyzing international studies, points out that they might impact up to 10 to 11% of the population. They're almost as widespread as mood disorders like depression. But what exactly are dissociative disorders? At their core, they represent a profound detachment. Individuals with these disorders might feel disconnected from themselves, their memories, emotions, and even their very identities. Picture this, a grieving spouse feeling emotionally numb to focus on a funeral or someone so out of touch with their identity that they don't recognize their own reflection. It's a coping mechanism, allowing the mind to distance itself from overwhelming or traumatic events. Two primary theories exist. The trauma model, which links dissociative symptoms to physical, sexual, and emotional abuse, especially from childhood. And the fantasy model, which claims these disorders are mere delusions. However, an extensive analysis of 98 international studies debunks the myth that dissociation is just a fad. The data suggests that dissociation is more common in trauma-exposed populations, like refugees, and is far more prevalent in less safe countries. Despite its frequency, these disorders often fly under the diagnostic radar. The lack of education among health professionals, subtlety of symptoms, and a general skepticism about the existence of the disorder. Many individuals remain undiagnosed, and even if diagnosed, they might be labeled with other mental health issues, missing the root cause of dissociation. So what's the way forward? The key lies in specialized psychotherapy that doesn't just address the mind, but understands trauma's very real physiological impact. While no pill can cure dissociation, the right therapy can bring significant improvement, allowing individuals to reconnect with themselves and the world around them. In closing, if you or someone you know might be dealing with dissociative symptoms, seeking an expert familiar with trauma and dissociation is crucial. The road to understanding and healing begins with recognizing the challenge and addressing it head on. What do you think about this research? Drop us a comment below. Remember to like and subscribe for more neuroscience news updates.